y'all welcome back to my channel today i'm here with a new video and today i will be sharing all of the things i picked up during the sephora sale but before we get started if it is your first time watching please hit the subscribe button and if you are a returning subscriber don't forget to hit the like button all right y'all so um i ordered stuff online and i also did the uh, same day delivery now sephora uh shipping has been kind of iffy I used to order stuff online from Sephora and I would literally get it the next day. Now when I order stuff um, online, sometimes it takes almost a week and it's not even that. It's like UPS or anybody like holding the package. It's Sephora. Like they take a long time to ship things out. So the things that I ordered online, I'm not even going to worry about because God knows when they're going to get there. And if I wait on that, this haul probably won't be going up until next week so i'm gonna just share the things that i picked up um with the same day shipping which i didn't get a lot normally when the sale comes around i never know what to get just because i'm always trying out new stuff on my channel so by the time a sale comes around it's like i've already picked up all the things i might be interested in getting so this is gonna be like a really quick haul i don't have like again i don't have a lot of things but i'm gonna just uh start <laughs> instead of going on and on the first thing i picked up during the uh, sephora sale was this commodity um fragrance this is the milk uh bold sorry i got my hand prints on it just because i've worn it already i've been wanting this uh fragrance for a minute now now it's a lot of hype around this i see this fragrance a lot all over social media whether it's instagram tiktok place i've seen this online but before i picked it up i did um buy the commodity uh discovery kit where it has like all of their fragrances and the one that stood out the most to me was the milk fragrance so that's why i picked it up this is what the packaging looks like Um, this has milk in it, obviously, marshmallow, a couple other fragrance notes. I'm not sure. I'll have it on the screen. But this smells exactly like a smoky marshmallow. <laughs> that's the best way to describe it. It is very long lasting. I know the bold fragrances. That's the one I picked up. And these come in three different scent space. They have one that's more like a skin scent. They have one where it's pretty much like maybe you can smell it and maybe... Um, if somebody is like really close to you and the bow one is supposed to be like one that any and everybody can smell you <laughs> as soon as you walk in the room. And I definitely will um, attest to that. I wore this to the gym yesterday and I got a lot of compliments. Also, this lasts a long time. This is great for this time of year, fall, winter time. This is a really nice fragrance. This smells really good. Like, it just it smells great. I also picked up this Laneige vitamin C essence. Um, I talked about this a little bit in my Sephora recommendation video. This is pretty much a vitamin C essence that you um, kind of just mist on your face right after cleansing it, right before you uh, moisturize. I wanted to try this out. I've been trying out a lot of different vitamin C's. The one that I was using a lot was the Glow Recipe. That's a really good one, but I kind of want to put that one to the side for a while and try something new really excited so. to try this out hopefully it works to be really good for brightening and i'm really trying to brighten my skin and just get rid of any dark spots i have on my face so that's why i picked this up and it also comes with the pump so i will keep y'all updated on whether or not if this works Next skincare item i picked up is a repurchase and this is the dr dennis gross alpha extra strength daily pill um y'all these are amazing these are a daily exfoliator if you suffer from acne or just have oily skin and want a really good exfoliator but you don't like physical exfoliants this is one definitely to pick up during the sale because this does retail normally for $88 that is a lot and I will only purchase this during the Sephora sale as much as I like it I'm not paying the full $88 for this so anytime Sephora has a sale coming up I will pick this up but this is definitely worth picking up like I will highly highly recommend this also I think these does come in like a mini size where you could try it out this is pretty much what it looks like this is pretty much a two-step um exfoliant you do step one step two it's pretty self-explanatory and a lot of y'all probably have tried this out already but if you have not I would definitely recommend 
put this in your car. Next item I got is the Innisfree Intensive Hydrating um, Serum with Green Tea. This is supposed to be really good as far as like um, hydrating your skin. Also, it has green tea in it. So I'm really looking forward to trying this out. Let me open this up. I looked at a couple reviews. I didn't see a lot from people of color, but hopefully this does work. Because usually before I try something out, I do look it up on YouTube like everybody else. And I want to see um, some reviews. But the ones I did see, people spoke highly of this. They said their skin felt really hydrated. Their skin was a lot softer. So I'll let y'all know whether or not this works as well. And I did pick up the Dior La Mousse Off On Foaming Cleanser. I've had my um, eye on this for a while. I was kind of confused on whether or not if this was the same as the Dior cleanser that was in the green bottle. But I think, what I'm thinking, I don't know for sure. I'm thinking that is being um, replaced with what this. What I've read, this is almost the same thing. So I feel like that has been replaced with this. Now y'all let me know in the comment section. But anyway, this is supposed to be like a purifying foaming cleanser and it is um, made for people who have extremely oily skin. I heard that this is on the drying side So if you do have extremely dry skin, you might not want to try this But if you have extremely oily skin like myself, this might be something that you want to pick up packaging This is huge. Um, you get a lot of product. This is five ounces. That is a lot I will keep y'all updated on this and let y'all know whether or not I like it. Do I feel it's worth the money? Because I was kind of hesitant to pick this up because this does retail for $47. Even though I do like a lot of Dior skincare products, but still, $47 is kind of a lot on the cleanser. But I'll let y'all know whether or not if it's worth it. And I also repurchased the Laneige Hydro UV Defense. I reviewed this on my channel. This is pretty much the only sunscreen I've been using. I love this sunscreen. I talked about this on my channel a couple times already. This really um, hydrates your skin, but it doesn't make you too oily or too shiny. If you have oily skin, it doesn't leave a white cast. Like this is just everything. It doesn't break me out. Like I would highly, highly recommend this um, sunscreen. And also this has SPF 50. I have, again, a whole review up on my channel. If y'all interested, definitely go check out that review. Cause I'm not gonna talk about it. Just know that I like this and I have repurchased this a couple times. And I also picked up one more skincare product from Innisfree. This is their pore clearing clay mask. I will highly, highly recommend this if you suffer from acne, have large pores, or you just really want a good detox mask that isn't expensive. This is $15, but this works. Like, I use this quite often. I use this at least once a week. One of my favorite clay masks to use. This is very similar to the uh, Aztec uh, clay mask that a lot of people mix with water or apple cider vinegar. This is almost the same thing i love this it's super affordable i would highly highly recommend this again if you suffer from acne or have um extremely oily skin texture large pores this is definitely worth picking up i also picked up the summer fridays lip butter bomb set y'all summer fridays um lip balm i always talk about this on my channel and once i seen it came out with a set i'm like i'm definitely picking this up you get the regular full size and you get three minis these is definitely going to come in handy because i cannot stop using these i have these everywhere in my house i have them in my car i love these <laughs> like you definitely should pick this your up. lips need this i promise you i know a lot of people is stuck on the laneige uh overnight sleeping mask Y'all need to put that down and try this out. Like that Laneige sleeping mask, I know for me, when I put it on my lips, my lips feel a lot drier. My lips doesn't feel hydrated. I feel like my lips absorb it and then it's pretty much done. You don't have to worry about that with this one. Definitely pick this up during the Sephora set. Looking at everything, I see I definitely picked up more skincare than makeup. But anyway, um, one of the makeup products that I did pick up is the All Hours Foundation. Um, I reviewed this new formulated one on my channel when it first came out and the shade I have is not my ideal shade match So I've been waiting to pick up my correct shade now I didn't go in store and swatch these I just was looking at the description looking at the model and I decided to go with the shade DC one um, I will let y'all know once I try this out whether or not if it is a better shade match 
if it is not my shade i'll keep y'all updated but overall this is a really nice foundation i will highly highly recommend i'm not gonna talk much about it just because i do have a review up on my channel you can go watch that if you're interested in picking this up and i also picked up the patrick ty cream foundation y'all already know the story with this um i did try this out on my channel the shade i had was um not my spot on shade match it was a little too dark i ended up going to sephora picked up a new shade i got the wrong shade so once i returned that i just was like i'll wait to pick this up during the sephora sale so here i am and i did pick up the shade tan four this is what the packaging looks like. Let's open it up so I can show y'all exactly what tan 4 looks like. Hopefully you guys can see it. I've been waiting to get my correct shade. <laughs> Lastly, I did pick up this mattifying spray from one size. This has been like the only uh, setting spray that I've been using. I love this spray. Now the um, full size spray retails somewhere in like the $30 range. I don't know the exact amount. It's probably about $33, $34. And this little gift set right here retails for $39. So obviously it makes more sense to pick up the set versus just one full size spray. So if you had your eye on this and you want a really good mattifying spray, definitely pick up this. You will not be disappointed. It took me a while to pick this up and once I did I've been using it ever since before this I was using the Charlotte uh, Tilbury um, setting spray I like that one as well but I like this one a lot better so I will highly highly recommend this um, set and this spray in general all right y'all that is it these are all the things i picked up so far during the sephora sale now when the rest of my items come I'm not sure if I'll do a video I'll let y'all know. <laughs> we'll see. But anyway, y'all, let me know in the comment section. Have you tried out any of these items? Let me know if you shopped the Sephora sale already. Let me know what you picked up. And most importantly, do not forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see y'all later.